And now, stand by for adventure. Three, two, one. In the exciting story of... The Falling Star. Black Patch the pirate had been spotted lurking near the moon. Now, <laughs> Colonel Bleep and Space Deputy Scratch are speeding to investigate. Little Squeak, however, has stayed behind to tidy up the library of his Zero Zero Island cottage. It is here the puppet discovers his almost forgotten theatrical trunk, filled with souvenirs of his days on the stage. Yes, Little Squeak had once been a member of the Puppet Players, appearing in such productions as The Adventures of Robin Hood as one of Robin's merry men, as an Indian warrior, in Longfellow's famous tale of Hiawatha, and even as an early pilgrim in the story of Miles Standish. Indeed, Little Squeak's trunk was filled with memories of his wonderful days as a puppet play actor. Squeak was sure that had he continued his stage career, he could have become the world's greatest star. Little did the puppet dream, however, that the cunning Black Patch had discovered his weakness and was at this very moment preparing to star Little Squeak in a drama of life or death. Quickly, Black Patch disguised his powerful space galleon to look like a gaily colored showboat. And now, the trap was set. Squeak heard the showboat whistle. And dashed off for a closer look. Actor wanted to star in spectacular showboat review. To star in a great review? Here at last was Squeak's big chance. Happy as he was as Colonel Bleep's space deputy, how could any actor resist this chance of a lifetime to be a star? Nothing else mattered now. The show must go on. Quickly, the puppet streaked back for his trunk full of costumes, and seconds later, he reappeared to apply for the job. Then, the wicked black patch strikes. <laughs> Squeak is a prisoner in his own trunk. <laughs> Meanwhile, high on the moon, Bleep and Scratch are closing in on the secret hideout of the pirate band. But is there still time? Already the stage is set, and into the spotlight steps the star. Inch by inch, the terrified Squeak is forced to walk the plank. This is surely going to be the last act for the little puppet. But look, there behind the theatrical truck, it's Bleep and Scratch. They've arrived at last. One for the money, two for the show, three to get ready. And over you go. In a flash, Bleep plunges below and snatches the helpless puppet from the jaws of certain death. Now, rising from the costume trunk is a strange, shadowy figure. It's Scratch, armed with Squeak's powerful pilgrim blunderbuss. Back on Zero Zero Island, 
little squeak closes his trunk for the last time. He has been saved, but you can be sure the little puppet will never forget the day he starred in a comedy of errors that almost ended.